here's our problematic light fixture. This is an E-Lite, or maybe you want to call it E-Lite or something. It's model RL675, is meant for a permanent in-ceiling mounting. Uh, here's the lamp fixture itself, 24-volt it's LED assembly. And here's really the root cause of the problem, is the 24-volt converter uh, made by Intertech. You can see the uh, label information there. I have it connected to uh, to a line cord here, clipped on there, and here's the output that goes to the lamp, the 24 volts, and perform some measurements on this. Here's a test of an Intertech LED driver, <clears throat> known for creating a lot of RFI. We have a Tektronix uh, P6019 current probe here, connected up to the hot lead. There's the amplifier for it, set for. 100 milliamps per division on the scope. Here's the scope, and I will turn the unit on. There we go. The scope is in uh, peak detect mode. You can see that it's about uh, 100 milliamps per division, it's about 300 milliamps peak to peak. Now we'll switch to uh, envelope mode and accumulate some samples there. So this is uh, indicative of uh, both the distortion on the 60 hertz waveform as well as a tremendous amount of high frequency energy that's present uh, in the normal mode signal. Here's a detailed view of the switching frequency. It's a little bit hard to trigger on, but you can see the little spikes there and the cursors indicate it's about a 75 kilohertz uh, frequency. This will be a measurement of common mode current as picked up by a Pearson model 4100 current probe connected to a Nanon 10E software defined radio. Right now the, uh, the light is off. Uh, this baseline noise is essentially a local EMI that's been picked up. It's always there. Uh, so those little spikes are fairly meaningless. Now we turn on the light. The upper display is wideband from uh, 0 to 55 megahertz. Uh, the center is the 20 meter band, 14 megahertz band. And you can see in the waterfall, waterfall the, uh, the noise that's going on there. There's the noise. This is typical of what it sounds like in the radio when the neighbor's lights are on. Now I'll turn it off again. And all goes quiet. Here we're testing with the receiver on 20 meters. Right now the lamp is off. Here comes the lamp. A little bit hard to hear the maritime net with that. You can see the S meter uh, kick up scale a bit. Yes, this little lamp does cause some problems. That's just one. My neighbor has 20.